Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be the weekly spread for December the 31st to January the 6th, 2019. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, I'm going to wish you a Happy New Year. Um, I'm going to be doing a five card spread for you and I'm also going to be clarifying um, each card as well. Um, I'm going to be pulling two oracle cards at the end as well to help bring the reading together with further clarification. Please keep in mind, Aquarius, as always, um, if this does not resonate with you, please leave it for someone someone else. This isn't going to resonate with everyone. Um, also, keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading as well. All right, so let's just get on with the reading. This is, the cards are really wanting to talk. All right. Oh, that's nice. That's in your past. So that's good. All right. All right, Aquarius. From the bottom of the deck, overall energy. Very nice. Very nice, you guys. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the energy of feeling like you just have everything that, that you want and you need. Okay, uh, this is a very magical card as well. This is just a fulfillment of abundance, financially, health, um, family, you know. So that, that's beautiful. Let's go ahead. Let's start here at the, the heart of the situation for this week is the Ace of Wands. So there, there's a lot of passion here with this. This is a gift of passion, ideas. Um, the seed has been planted um, it, it, it's time to, I feel like, take action. That's what I'm getting from this. It's time for you, Aquarius, to take action on something. Something that you are very passionate about. Um, now, what's going on in your mind is the Eight of Swords. So, this is your, your own uh, air energy going on here. I, I really feel like um, you're stressed. Um, it... You're going through a stressful time right now, possibly. Um, you're maybe not wanting to see something for what it really is. You're refusing to take the blindfold off, and it's kind of keeping you stuck, maybe. Um, and it's not the time to be stuck, Aquarius. You have this new, beautiful opportunity uh, that's right here. And that, that possibly, it, it could be hard for you to move forward. Because as I'm, I'm looking down here in your foundation, what's driving you is the feeling of you've had to deal with a lot. You've had a lot on your plate, Aquarius. You've had, you know, she's kind of like, this is kind of like battling and she's got all those stabs behind her that she's gathered, that she's, you know, these are things she's accomplished with each one. And she's still persevering. She's still moving forward. She can still, you know, move on and move forward if, you know, if need be. She's taking that stance. Um, I, I just feel like you possibly getting a little tired here and that could be where this anxiety is coming from with this mental uh mental uh, anguish up here and this could have to do within your recent past you had the tower situation you you had your life shook up in some sort of way your foundation your you know something has been you know this is a something that was not stable so it was you know the universe has shook it up it's time for it to go be torn down so something firm and stable can be built up a firm foundation so you still might be dealing with because this is the recent past you could still be dealing with some emotions on that possibly or some anxiety your new circumstance is the ten of wands so there is relief here aquarius this card is about asking others, you know, that are around you, loved ones, family. And I, I really feel like you do have family around you that are willing to help you as well with that energy. Um, help you with this load that you're carrying. And, you know, this is card, this, this card to me is a positive card because it's the end of this as well. Um, it's the end of this this situation, this this cycle of you feeling like you just, you have a lot on your shoulders, you, you know, you have, you're feeling burdened in some way, and I am going to clarify these cards, Aquarius. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands for Aquarius. Ace of Wands for Aquarius. There we have it. Okay, we got the Five of Wands. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords 
for Aquarius. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the Foundation. Oof. Yep, there's that, there's that new cycle. All right, the Tower, Recent Past. Tower, Recent Past. This card wanted to come out. And we have the Two of Wands. Beautiful. And New Circumstance. New Circumstance. We have the Shadow Side. Very nice. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Overall energy. Ten of Pentacles. That one wanted to come on. Very nice. Yeah. All right. So, all right, you guys. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the heart of the situation here. All right. This opportunity, this, this gift, this is something that I feel like you were competing, not literally competing, but... Uh, possibly uh, this is something you were struggling with possibly an inner battle because when we have the eight of swords crowning you um, I don't see this as a struggle with others this is within yourself okay so there's an inner battle going on here to go ahead and uh, take this new opportunity this gift that's been given to you from the universe to uh, nurture it and and to move forward um, this is a beautiful opportunity, Aquarius, and you're, you're struggling with it. Now, what's crowning you is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I always look at this card, and this could be what's, you know, giving you all the stress, okay? And, you know, just giving you a headache. You're, you're looking at your harvest here. You're looking at your Pentacles, right? And, and he's got this look on his face like, hmm... Should I go ahead and start plucking my pinnacles, or should I leave them where they're at? Should I invest one? Um, he's kind of at a standpoint of not really knowing what to do with what he's what his harvest is. Maybe maybe you're feeling like you don't have enough, or maybe there's not enough to do what it is that you're wanting to do, and it's causing stress. Uh, that could be with this new opportunity here, you may be feeling like you don't have enough money to invest in this opportunity, Aquarius. But I'm here to tell you what's down here in your foundation, what's driving you, okay, is this will of the year. Now, this is clarifying the Nine of Wands. This is literally taking a stance, um, fighting for what's yours, going, you know, you can still continue. You can persevere. And I, this is the will of the year is a new cycle. This is the uh, a will of karma, I feel like, in, in many ways. And it's moving in your favor, uh, Aquarius. This, this will is moving in your favor, okay? And this is what's driving you. You know this. But for some reason, you, you're, you are having an inner battle, an inner struggle with yourself. And I kind of see where where this is happening and why it's happening because when we have this ten of pentacles right here and and then we have the death card um this you could have a scorpio that's in your life as well but this is transformation transformation this is ending um an old cycle this is ending you know having an ending and starting a beginning okay this is transformation um i feel like you're stuck ending you know a situation or, or ending a cycle and you're having a hard time going ahead and moving forward and don't get stuck there don't get stuck there because this is beautiful this tower card this shake up this was because you were trying to decide which path to journey down now you know there's two paths here and in, you know in your recent past and, you know, look at this, Aquarius. I, I really feel like it doesn't matter which path you take. Both of them are going to be amazing. Look at this. Down one path, he's, you know, literally holding, you know, the world in the palm of his hands. And then the staff is, has nothing but beautiful growth on it, right? New opportunities. You know, and I just, I feel like, I feel like this is a decision, a path that you've had to make and it's it's shook your foundation because maybe maybe you haven't had the confidence in yourself um that you, that you've needed in order to feel like you're making the right decision to 
make a decision that's so life changing. And you know what's honestly right here, this Ten of Wands, this cycle is ending and, and this new beginning is starting. Okay, and you have friends, you have family, there's someone there that can help you through this. Um, all you have to do is ask, okay? And you're going to start this new beginning. I feel like this is when you get, with you getting the shadow side, this is a beautiful card. Um, a lot of people get scared when they see this. This is nothing to be afraid of. This is you. This is what's inside of you, okay? And sometimes in order for us to move forward and to be able to understand what to do in life and paths to go down. We have to understand ourselves. Know thyself. Right, Aquarius? And I really feel like in this situation, you're needing to go within and, you know, take a look at your shadow side. We all have a shadow side. We all have that person that we're afraid of or we're afraid to look at or allow to come out. Because we're afraid we'll be judged or people look at us funny or or it could be that we feel that that side of us is is ugly or we don't like that part of us. But guess what? We all have this side. And if we don't go ahead and, you know, deal with our shadow side, you know, while we're on our path, while we're in this world, we're going to keep coming back until we deal with it. And we until we deal with this side of ourselves and it can keep us in this it can keep us stuck when, when you don't and, and this is not that bad this is not a bad card you know this is you know going deep within yourself and, and looking at yourself okay this is nothing to be afraid of um, this is something that needs to be looked at in order for you to move forward. You have a new beginning here on the table. Okay, and it's this is holding you and keeping you restricted. It's keeping you weighed down. It's keeping you from starting this new cycle, this new beginning. I want you to know, Aquarius, I want you to understand that you have a beautiful new karmic cycle awaiting you. It's, it's waiting on you to take this first steps. Okay? Take the first steps, back down a little bit, take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask why it is that you are so stuck in your mind or have fear to move forward, that you feel so bogged down, that you feel like you are not capable of making the right decision. Ask yourself why. You know, look for signs and I, I tell all the signs this, always look for signs, synchronicities, symbols. Um, on a daily basis in your dreams as well people you come in contact with on a daily basis you don't even have to talk to them I mean I, I see people all the time just going to the store and it, it reminds me of something it, it, it symbolizes something it could be something they're wearing it could be a necklace um, it could it just takes me my subconscious back to somewhere that you know where I needed to think about something or uh, remember uh, something from my past um, that triggered it, you know. There's nothing wrong with this, but this is this is like a very uh, this is a deep reading right here. You you have a new cycle that's awaiting you, Aquarius. You it's just asking you to look deep within yourself. You are the one that is holding holding this new beginning up. You're restricting yourself, um, not being able to um, go within and do some self reflection. Um, I, I'm the hermit card is like is coming into my mind very strongly right now. I feel like this is a time for uh, a lot of you to go in and introspect, you know, go into introspection, uh, meditate, uh, seek out uh, your desires, seek what it is that you're looking for, have an understanding of it before you move forward because you have, you're, you know, and this is going to happen, um, it, but it's waiting on you. So you don't have to go back and keep repeating stuff that you've, you've already done. You know, that's another way of looking at it, Aquarius. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull an Earth Magic Oracle for you as well, Aquarius. And let's see what Spirit has for you, what message has for you this uh, week. Spirit, thank you. There you go. See, and just make sure you guys, you know, 
Um, I, I'm getting the hermit card. The hermit card. You guys need to, you, need, you know, you need to go within and start asking questions. Um, nurture yourself, Aquarius. Okay? You, you need to nurture yourself. Uh, you're a beautiful people. Beautiful people. And you're holding yourself back. Keeping yourself uh, restricted. Okay? And all you got to do is look within. There's nothing wrong with having, uh, uh, you know, looking within yourself. You know, and uncovering, you know, the, the subconscious, the hidden, the things we don't want to think about. Or, or maybe those thoughts that are holding us restricted that are, you know, possibly just horrifying to us. But if we're having them, we need to break them down and figure out why we're having them. Why it's in our mind. Because there's, there's meaning behind it. And there's nothing you can't work out. There's nothing you can't ask spirit about that, that spirit is not going to be spirit will guide you uh you have spirit guides around you you have spirit around you whatever whatever you believe in they're there for you aquarius and i just feel like make sure that you're eating properly as well okay you guys nurture yourself i'm also going to pull um, a goddess oracle as well this is for aquarius goddesses what do you have for aquarius what message do you have for aquarius this week goddesses all right, thank you so much. And here we go, you guys. Exactly what I'm trying to say. Bright future, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? You, you guys have got your, you're, you're stuck in your head, Aquarius. Okay? This goes with this card here, too. Right here. You have a new karmic cycle that's going in your favor it's ready to start it's ready to roll it's ready to begin it's uh waiting on you to get out of your head face your shadow side get out of this restriction of be of restricting yourself so you can drop this load and this new cycle can end i mean start the old cycle it can end and the new cycle can begin transformation you guys and, and this is endings and beginnings. This needs to end this, this cycle so you can have this. All right, Aquarius. Thank you so much, you guys. This was deep. This is, uh, this is a very spiritual reading right here. This was for somebody. I'm, I'm very thankful I was able to do this um, for you. Please, um, <clears throat> I don't say this in all my videos. Um, that in situations like this, I always like it if somebody would comment if this is resonating with you. So I, I know what's, you know, what's going on and how this resonated with you. Because um, I know this is, this might just be for one person. But it always makes me feel good, you know, to know that I, maybe I was possibly able to help somebody understand maybe what's going on in their, you know, in their life. Um and that there's always a way to move forward and, and be able to move past, you know, our sometimes our own self-sabotage way of thinking, um, literally. Um, and, you know, because we all do this. We all do this at times in our life and on our path. We, we are our worst enemies and we hold ourselves back. But like I said, I don't always do this. Please comment. I, I would really like to know. Um, I wanted you guys to know that I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Um, all of you mean the world to me, and I thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do this if you guys weren't there uh, viewing my videos. Um, Happy New Year to all of you. And Aquarius, from the bottom of my heart, I send you all love and wishes and blessings for this new year. And I thank you so much, and I will see you next week, Aquarius. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.